What's good, YouTube? It's your man, Rage King, a.k.a. First Name Rage. Last name is him. Back with another one. Yes, another upload to the channel. And before we get started, I ask if y'all please go down there and hit that like button. Hit that sub button. Hit that share button. Hit that bell for notifications if you're new. Welcome to Rumble Rage TV. This is how we do Rage and Rebels. Crown up. And if you're new to the crew, welcome to the Rage and Rebel Revolution. Now let's vibe and y'all. In this video, I'm going to be giving my honest thoughts and opinions on what I thought of the MK1 Chaos Reign story expansion. I'm only talking about the story expansion. I'm not talking about the entire patch as a whole. Um, that's a whole nother video for a whole nother day. All right. I'm um, just talking about the story expansion and what I thought about it. Feel free to disagree if you don't agree with me. But without further ado, let's get into it. So if I'm being honest, um, and, and I'm not trying to be facetious or anything like that, but I'm just keeping it real. This story made absolutely no fucking sense to me. I, I'm going to just be as honest as possible. Tried to give it a day or two to sleep on it, think about it, but I, I, the more and more I watch it, the more and more nothing makes any sense whatsoever. Um, Dominic Ciancolo, the writer of all of this, um, I, I got to be honest, um, bro, you lost touch. You lost touch between the Force DEI and the, the whole multiverse thing that we've already seen Marvel do time and time again. This story had zero creativity. This story made zero sense. This story was just all over the fucking place. I'm talking about no sense of direction whatsoever. It's like they don't know what they did from this chapter to the next chapter. You understand what I'm saying? They don't know. The only thing that was consistent in this story right here was the whole women are in power, men ain't shit. Yeah, that, that whole bullshit that nobody gives a fuck about. Only Twitter gives a shit about. And we all know Twitter isn't a real place. You understand what I'm saying? Um, look, man, I, I love Mortal Kombat. And we can all, anybody that's played Mortal Kombat before MKX knows that Mortal Kombat was all about two things. Crazy overpowered fighters across the board and the lore to want you to get to know the characters. That's why people are so attached to certain characters or all characters or even the game itself, the franchise itself. It's because it had damn good lore and the lore made sense for the most part. This shit made no sense whatsoever. I mean none. Zilch. Nine. None, bro. I don't get it. I don't know how Dominic Sancolo or however you say his last name, I don't know how this guy still has a job. But at this rate, bro, what the fuck were you doing? What what were you thinking? I don't think you were thinking at all. I literally think you were just writing shit down and then got paid to just write random shit down. It it makes no sense. This story from chapter to chapter made no sense. None. It, it really didn't. And, and I was trying to give it a chance, trying to find something to go into. And don't get me wrong. Some characters had certain moments that it was just like, okay, damn, that was crazy. Like the whole Tanya and Rain scene. That was kind of like, damn, that was kind of wild. And then it fell right back off a fucking cliff. I don't understand. Like, bro, if you are having this, mu this much trouble trying to figure out what to do with the lore, then why are you hired to write here? I think your time has passed. It's more apparent each and every time we even get an expansion on anything when it comes to the lore that you simply just ain't got it no more, dog. You're more worried about who's eating whose pussy, who's sucking whose dick, who's doing all of this. Well, how can we force and make women in power and all the other, but bro, just give us a good goddamn story. You had a clean canvas to start with and all you gave us was bullshit. And that's exactly what this story was. Bullshit. It had a few moments that were all, that was like, damn, that was kind of cold. Damn, that was all right. That was decent. But for the most part, bro, absolute trash. I, I'm going to just keep it real. This shit was so cringe at times. I literally wanted to cut the fucking stream off halfway through myself. I was bored playing this shit. So I know the people that were watching me were twice as bored. And there wasn't anything I could have possibly done to make the shit make sense or make it any more exciting because there simply wasn't enough substance there to make that happen. And I'm just keeping it real. If Dominic Ciancolo is hired to write the next Mortal Kombat story, bro, just know it's going to be trash. Just know it's going to be trash. 
The guy has no idea what he's doing. He can't remember what he's doing from chapter to chapter. To be honest, it wouldn't surprise me if he was high off of Adderall, Coke, and ecstasy and was just doing shit. Because that's all this story really seems like it's doing. Just shit. First you're hitting it, adding it, hitting it, adding it. This is like, bro, pick something and stick to it. Stop trying to rip off Marvel and then do a shittier job with Marvel content than what you have now, dude. I don't get it. And I'm not the one to just advocate because times are tough out here. I'm not the one to just advocate people getting fired. But I also am of the, of the mindset that if you don't have the right people in the right position, why the fuck did you hire them anyway? Who read this shit, okayed it, and then went and programmed it? None of this shit was good, bro. None of this shit, for the most part, was any good. Like I say, it had one or two moments here that I was all right. But, bro, from beginning to the middle to the end, other than a few moments, this story was absolute shit. It was, bro. I did not enjoy it. Like I say, I was bored playing this shit, so I know the people that were watching me were bored, too. Do better with the writing, NetherRealm. Get back to what made Mortal Kombat Mortal Kombat. This writing that y'all got with this current regime, bro, just ain't it. It just ain't it. But that's just my opinion, man. For instance, right, watch this before I leave. The whole time he could have did that? I even said that during the stream. He couldn't have done that the whole time? You sitting there handcuffed and all that shit. You could have frozen and broken at any time and you was just sitting there getting lectured like a goddamn child? Come on, bro. One of the many mishaps that this game had, bro. And I'm not apologizing for that. For the people that disagree, if you like bad writing, that's you. That's your prerogative. Do what you do, boo-boo. But I'm telling you right now, dude. For anybody that's got a, a working, functioning brain and has any idea about the lore of Mortal Kombat, you will know. And I'm not talking about they need to go back to the original lore or anything. No, they just need a lore that makes sense. And that's the one thing this shit did not do. Make any sense and also not have any sense of direction that made any sense in any direction that it was going. But that's just my opinion. Y'all let me know down in the comment section what y'all think about the story and Chaos Reigns expansion, man. As long as y'all may respect for logical, we can have a conversation. That's the end of my video. Hope y'all enjoyed. It's been a pleasure making it for you. Rage King will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.